Good morning, everyone, and uh, welcome to a lovely sunrise here behind me. This morning, I have come down to the Santa Ana River, tried to get some pictures of birds. I don't normally do bird photography. My longest lens is this uh, 70 to 200, and most of the time, I don't think it's a long enough lens. But I'm right here at the edge of the water, and I'm just sitting here quietly waiting for the birds to come by. But uh, yeah, yesterday I went for a bike ride right here on the river trail. It's the easy place to go on a bike ride here in Orange County. So I did uh, 25 miles in about an hour and a half. I was pretty happy with that. But as I was riding down the river, I was looking at all the birds thinking, you know, those would make lovely photos. So here I am next to this uh, little uh, cascade over these uh, rocks here. And I'm gonna see if I can get some photos of birds. So welcome to Grant Takes Pictures. I'm Grant and I take pictures. So I've been really struggling with my photography lately. I have found that all of the things I was doing early on in the pandemic, uh, you know, my self-portraits and... My self-portraits and everything else, um, you know, the, the joke Lego stuff, it, it wasn't fulfilling to me. I miss going out and taking pictures of landscapes and everything else. Um, so a couple weeks ago, you didn't see a video from me, and last week I didn't take any photos. I just uh, you know sat there and watched the sunset. And I really miss going out and uh, exploring the world. But. As I was riding my bike yesterday, I thought that uh, yeah, there are still very nice things here close to home that I can go see that are socially distanced and perfectly safe. Here in Orange County, we've uh, been making some national news uh, with our hostility towards masks. And because of that, our case counts are uh, quite high. So even coming out here locally, it doesn't always feel that safe. But I think right here uh, by the water's edge, I'm a good 30 feet from the bike path up there and there's nobody around right here. So I, this feels safe, but uh, it is very hard to go out and take pictures in a way that feels safe right now. And honestly, I think my photos, my photography has been suffering because of it. So I'm glad to be out here trying to take pictures of pretty things once again. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like uh, there's any birds landing right here in front of me. I've seen some egrets way down there. That's what I would really like to get some pictures of is egrets. There were some sandpipers, I think they're called, uh, just in this dirt right behind me. But again, I don't have a long enough lens to capture them from here. When I tried to walk up closer to them, they flew away. Let's see, I don't think I'm gonna get the bird shots that I want. I've gotten a number of birds flying overhead. There's been some ducks in the water here uh, in front of me. I'll just sit here and wait.
most of the Santa Ana River is pretty ugly, but uh, right here in this specific location next to the Yorba Regional Park, you can almost imagine it's a natural river still. Obviously it has uh, you know, these concrete banks and it has these concrete banks and this little cascade is uh, not natural at all. But with a long enough lens, you can get here and crop in uh, just enough to not be able to see all the man-made stuff. Ooh, that was pretty. I wonder if I'd be better off up on the other side of these weeds. Yeah, we might go over there in a sec. But, uh, you know, I have a freeway right here behind me. Don't want that in the shot. But we have these uh, tall grasses and reeds on the far bank. I can use that as a backdrop. But uh, most of the Santa Ana River is really ugly. A lot of it's dry. So all this water flow is controlled by the Prado Dam upriver. And uh, they let out water, just enough water to go down river and then get caught and uh, you know trapped so it seeps into the ground and uh, into our um, underground uh, aquifer here and we then pump it out 10 years later and drink it so that's where all of north orange county's water comes from is this river right here in 10 years we'll be drinking this water that is flowing right in front of us All right, so I walked down the river a ways. I saw this guy, I believe it's a blue heron. I'm not positive about that, but for some reason that name pops in my head. But I saw him when I was uh, further up river and I wanted to get try to get a better picture with, of him. So I just uh, kind of snuck down here as quietly and easily as I could to get closer and just hoped he didn't fly away and he didn't. So I got some pictures of him. I'm gonna now hope he actually flies away so I can get some pictures of him flying. You know, I really feel like I should know the names of birds a little bit better. My grandmother was an avid birder. She traveled around the world just to go look at birds. I think she went to all seven continents. And, uh, you know, I don't know the difference between a finch and a, I don't know, what's something small and brown, like a finch. It's not a finch. See, I don't know even my bird names well enough to compare two similar birds. Let's pull out my phone and see if I can figure out what sort of bird this is. the moment I pull out my phone, the bird flies away. And he actually went right up to where I was before. But I think I, <laughs> I got some pictures in time. I hope. Well, it's getting a little bright out. You can see me squinting here at the camera, looking into the sun. But uh, I think I got those pictures of that great blue hair. I did look it up, that is what it was. And uh, I wanna go get them on my computer 
and see what I can get. The light is not as nice as it was earlier. So I'm going to head on home, but next week, well, next week for you, the next video, it'll be tomorrow from when I post this and it'll be, well, a few days from now from when I'm recording this. I'm gonna take my kids out to go see uh, the Parasites Meteor Shower. I think that's how you pronounce that. And uh, I'm gonna go try to take some photos of it. So next week, look forward to that. We're, I think gonna head out to Joshua Tree, go camping for the night. And uh, that should be a lot of fun. So if you wanna go try to take pictures of that yourself, that's on August 11th and 12th. For me, it's uh, peaks on the 12th. If you're on the East Coast, I think it peaks on the 11th. Um, and uh, if you're in Europe or Asia or anywhere else in the world, I have no idea when it peaks, but it'll be the 11th or 12th. You can look it up for your own location. Um, but next week, that's what we're gonna try to take pictures of. So until then, have a great, great week, and we'll see you next week. Goodbye.